What is transgender? Being transgender means that the individual identifies as being the opposite gender of what they are born as. It is one of the most difficult struggles one's mind can overtake. Being transgender can be like wearing a costume you can never remove and everyone else just thinks it's your skin. This message is dedicated to the trans community and anyone else who is willing to listen. My name is Marsha Izumi, and I am the mother of a transgender son, a very proud mother, I must add. Our older child uh, is a daughter at uh, freshman college, and uh, then we have a 10th grader, Hunter. We have um, a 10-year-old son that was uh, assigned female at birth, and he's been living as a boy for about a year now. Jeremy is now 24 years old. He'll be 25, actually, this week. And uh, he's an actor. I think my favorite time... Oh, I'm going to cry. <laughs> my favorite time is just being able to sit with him and have really an honest and open discussion because for the longest time we couldn't do it. For the longest time, he was withdrawn, he was depressed, I didn't know what was going on, and so there was a period of time where I didn't feel connected to him. Well, when we were, uh, when we first moved into this house, some of the things that we did together as a family was we put on plays, and we got more and more ambitious to the point where um, when Jeremy was in fifth grade and his older sister was in ninth grade, we actually did a full-fledged musical. And this involved inviting friends of his um, and friends of hers, and we got a director. I mean, we just did a whole family project. And all the way through, Jeremy was just offering to do props and make stuff for us. And it was just so, I mean, we couldn't have done it without him. About a year ago, he came to me and sat down and he said, I'm really a boy. And he said, you know, I don't understand why this is, you know, why I feel this way. And he said, you know, maybe I'm a little crazy. And I said, no, you're not crazy. I said, that's called transgender. And I said, lots of people are that way. And so we, uh, we went on YouTube and I showed him some videos of other transgender people. And that was a big relief to him. One conversation led to another, and he finally just said, well, you know, I'm transgender. And um, that's when all the, the Googling and the research and trying to, you know, I, I mean, I, I didn't even know if I really knew the word transgender prior to that. He clearly had done a lot of research. I was very adamant he wanted to go on tea. And we just said, well, wait a minute. You know, you've done all this homework, but we haven't, and we need to make sure that we do things the right way, and we need to understand, and we need to know long-term what the effects are. Really, I was super relieved, to be honest, because previous to that, um, for... I mean, really, all his life, he was kind of, like, had this, like, low-level depression, just, like... You know, I don't know, there's just this underlying sort of unhappiness there. And he's really a great kid, you know, and that always bothered us a lot. And, you know, my husband called it being mopey. He was just mopey for really no apparent reason. So, you know, when, when he told me and we kind of figured out, you know, what was going on, I'm like, awesome, now we can get rid of that depression and he can just be himself and be happy and not be stressed out and worried about everything. And, you know, since then, I mean, he's like a whole different kid. You know, there's this wonderful uh, scale which was first introduced to the queer public and allies uh, by a wonderful sociologist named Virginia Riddle. I don't know if you know it, but it's a it's a scale of acceptance of diversity. And you go from rejecting diversity to begrudgingly accepting that diversity is inevitable. And then you move through all the different levels of, well, I guess I support you, just kind of tepid support. 
to celebrating. And I do celebrate the uh, Jeremy's contribution in the world. So we've moved, you know, through the whole spectrum of going from, oh my God, what is this? I have no idea what you're even talking about to really celebrating and seeing what he's offering to the, to the world just by being himself. What we said to him two years ago is, whoever you are, we want you to be happy and healthy emotionally and um, you know, physically, mentally, so we will help you get there. And that's really, as a parent, that's all you can hope for your kids. I think if I were to give a parent one message, it would be, you know, take your time to process through whatever you need to process through, um, because sometimes it does take time. And it, in order to like fully accept your child, um, you need to take that time to figure out, you know, your fears and, and some of your feelings and how to get through them. Um, I also think that communication and keeping your heart really open is really important. And to be patient was um, part of our journey that um, I think was critical. He had to be patient with us and we had to be patient as well with him.